Maybe this afternoon. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay, good. I love it. Yeah. So this season we got introduced to vampires. Uh huh. Sexy so, Euro trash well, vampires, of course. Uh, <laughs> well, kind of I just there. really, yeah, exactly. I really want you to specify. No, I just. Kidding. No, no. I, and what kind of uh, are you looking for? A different maybe take on or mythology that maybe we never seen before with vampires? Or sorry, what was the first part? Yeah. Okay, so we know pretty yes. much the history and yes. mythology of vampires. Yes. Is there something different that yes. you're definitely bringing into yes. it? Yes, a hundred percent. I totally get it. Thank you so much. So when I started as a genre writer, I kind of avoided telling vampire stories. I mean, obviously Buffy the Vampire Slayer influenced me so wholeheartedly. It's so obvious that I just felt really like it wasn't good to write a vampire story. Vampire Diaries, Twilight, you know, if they were in the zeitgeist. So I just felt in season three like we had earned the right to do vampires, but do it in the Winona way. What I love about the vampires in Winona Earp is so often our creatures or our demons are trying to disguise their supernaturalness. Do you know what I mean? They're trying to pose as humans. But I love finally we had these vampires for us to show up looking like Rihanna fabulous and they were like we can just glamour you as if we're not going to wear our Gucci fanny packs and walk around <laughs> with our stripper bus so I kind of liked how like out and arrogant and kind of shallow they were it just was kind of fun I just really wanted the season 3 premiere to be fun like the season 2 finale was so devastating in a good way but I also just wanted to say to the fans like we're back and my note is back and it's going to be fun and surely nothing terrible is going to happen the rest of the season <laughs> and <course> interview <laughs> <laughs> um, so which relationship do you uh, ship? Uh, ship? Oh my god. Which one do you want to see the most? I ship Nedley Calamity Jane. I'm not even shy about it. That's my number one. I ship them all. I ship them all and then I have competing ships. Like I don't want my owner to have to pick someone. I think Winona and Doc have such incredible chemistry. I'm a sucker for that. I think Way Hot, I wish anyone was paying attention to that. I try and try, and maybe someday they'll catch on. Um, I ship a lot of the friendships, too, right? I ship the weird ones. I ship Nicole and Winona are so hilarious together. They're like, maybe future sister-in-laws, and they kind of hate each other. Look, Winona's a criminal, and Nicole's a cop, and Nicole's dating Waverly, but also they actually kind of like each other. So I, I'm not being a liar when I say I ship them all. Who do you ship? Oh, yeah. um, I really like Way Hot, actually. Good. I'm a big fan of Way Hot. More so over the potato, which I heard you uh, complain about people pay more attention to than Way Hot. I did. Well, I did complain. <laughs> I was surprised, which is one of my favorite things about the fandom. I I just like that, like, I deliver this trailer, and I'm like, there's no one on a mechanical fool. There's Bobo in the well. There's Way Hot. And everyone's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Potato! <laughs> just like, but that's my favorite thing is like I think the fandom was just so in it and fun like good luck explaining it to anyone who doesn't watch the show that like the potato licking is the big like season three punch like I'm not sure that's gonna get us the cover of Us Weekly but we'll see yeah I know that lately there's been a lot of um, people not being big fans of like those really irritating male people that don't like the female protagonists right in a lot of games and shows Maybe. we call them male little, little, yeah, yeah little man children little man children um, has that impacted Winona Earth? I'm a huge fan of them. I love their whining. No. No, because I just don't care. Like, I just don't think, like, also nobody cares. Like, I'm sorry, guys, that you were represented for 40 years in fandom, and now we're, like, trying to cast women and, like, people of colors and, you know, people who are queer to finally have an adventure and kick some ass. Like, look, I had to watch Star Wars, and I identified with Han Solo, and I was fine. Y'all can show up and watch Black Panther and Star Wars, and you're going to be fine. Do you know what I mean? Um... What I will give credit to, even when I'm not joking, is sci-fi has never once told me to tone it down. They have never once told me to make it less gay. They have never once told me to make it less diverse, to make it less feminist. And 
that's how I feel like culture is going to change the world, for lack of a better term. I feel like whatever else is happening in 2018, I don't know if storytelling is backing down, and that's what this generation is going to be raised on, and that's sometimes what gives me hope. Do you feel like you have to kind of twist it to be a little more political uh, in this particular climate, or are you going to try and stay away from it? I'm never going to try to stay away from it. I just want to do it in a way that doesn't feel shoehorned in. Do you know what I mean? Like, as much as I'd like to, I probably am not going to have a revenant who looks like an orange Cheeto and is president of the United States. I just feel like that's a little uh, obvious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Hi, I'm from the White House. That's all I should have checked that. No, but do you know what I mean? I just think I still want it to be within the context of the show. But look, like... The whole show is that we took a Western, which is patriarchal roles. It's just like dudes running around the West, like conquering and stealing cattle and women. We made all those roles queer and people of color and women. So I feel like that's how we are political. But I still want you to have a good time. And we do really well with audiences, believe it or not, who maybe you wouldn't expect to like these type of shows. We do really well in middle America. But like, good. That's again, if they're enjoying themselves. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Yeah.